wasn't just some weird dream. There's a professor in my bed. And they're cute. Fuck. That's a problem. Hey. Hey. Hey, you gotta wake up. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, hey, hey. <clears throat> now don't you go cuddling me. Wake up. Oh. Oh, that's warm. No. It could be worse, I guess. Hey. Hey. Stop mumbling in your sleep and open your peepers up. I told you you had to go and you fell asleep. Yeah, I fell asleep too, but... No, it is way too early for all this. And you're hot. No, no, stop smirking. I mean, you're very warm. Is that normal or are you sick? <sighs> you're fine. Well, I agree, but you were out in the rain all night, so I was worried. You might have caught a cold or some shit. No, no, I'm not being sweet. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if you start coughing, it's going to make sneaking you up out of here a lot more complicated. <laughs> what? No, I'm not embarrassed. Trust me. Back in my day, I'd just give you the boot and let you take your walk of shame on the chin. But one, I didn't clap your cheeks. And two, me bringing a new boo to the hideout would... Yeah, it would just fuck up the vibes, all right? It's... You know, it's... About not making people worry about my decision-making and my judgment and stuff. If I had planned accordingly, it wouldn't really be a big deal, but you showing up in my backyard being suspicious as hell didn't really... It didn't really give me a whole lot of options, all right? No, not my literal backyard, you knucklehead. It's a figure of speech. They don't got figure of speeches in the laboratory. I'm sure they've written books about not being lame, right? Or is that more like... <laughs> is it more like dad jokes and smart people puns where you're from? <sighs> Relax. You seem cool enough. I just wanted to bust your chops a bit, seeing as how you're a whole lot of trouble. And, well... You do look pretty cute laying there, all snuggled up in my clothes I let you borrow. So, um, yeah, I guess you're all right. Even if you are a little nerd. I mean, anyone who hops into bed with me on the first night has to be pretty decent, eh? <laughs> you at least got good taste. Hey, <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I mean, you're the one who's been trying to snuggle up to your boy. I was well behaved. Minded my distance. But I wouldn't kick you out of bed if you were trying to climb all over me if you catch my drift. <sighs> hmm. Well, you're here, and I'm still beat, so... uh I'm going to get comfy, and I'll figure out what the hell to do about you later. Huh? Oh, 
I mean, you're free to leave, obviously. I'm not going to hold you here against your will. Don't get me wrong, I'm a freaky dude sometimes, but kidnapping isn't really the vibe unless we discuss it ahead of time, you know what I'm saying? So, I will politely ask that you don't just waltz out there and put me in an awkward position, because that will make the likelihood of us working together in the future, uh, well, not very likely, I guess. Well, yeah. If you're one of the few here taking this situation with the pissed-off, big-ass Pokemon seriously, then I'm here to support you and help do whatever you need, I guess. I mean, what I'm saying is our, our goals are aligned or something. Wait, wait, whoa, wait, what? Hey, it's not because I think you're cute or anything like that. Wait, are you fucking with me? Oh. <clears throat> hey, whoa. Hey, oh. You can't just roll away. Come here, little spoon. <sighs> now, if you think you're gonna scare me away by blatantly sticking your booty out, <laughs> you got me messed up. It's been a hot minute since I had a fine piece of ass in my bed, and I'm a big boy. But I'm serious. I care about Alola, and people are getting hurt. Folks might think that me and the squad are just a bunch of goons who like causing trouble, but we're... We're more than that. Well, at least now we are, so... Hey... What are you making that face for? Oh, <laughs> oh! I can see. I'm peeking over your shoulder. <laughs> well, what's the matter, Professor? You didn't think I'd scoot up on you? Oh, shit, my bad. I thought you were... Oh. Oh. Okay, then. I won't back off. If you want me. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah. You comfy? You sure? I, uh... Huh? Well, yeah. When I said it had been a long time, that was true. I'm not just bullshitting. I've just been... <clears throat> you know, I've been working on myself rather than getting into any entanglements or, or whatever. Oh. <laughs> been a long time for you too, huh? Well, uh, I, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm, but yeah, if you want to be held a bit, I can do that. It's nice. <sighs> Wait. <laughs> what? You said I'm a... a good guy. You don't know me like that. I'm a mess, is what I am. And even if I have good intentions, sometimes that just ain't really enough. But, I mean, it is nice to hear someone say it. I mean, you sure as hell don't gotta. That's nice. You seem like a sweetheart, too. Don't, don't take me picking on you too seriously. It just means that I like you. Mm-hmm. I said what I said. You're grown. You're welcome to have questionable taste in men. Well, <laughs> yeah, I did say you had good taste, but let's be honest. I'm a problem. But you're bright. If you think you can handle me, then... 
I bet you could take whatever I throw at you. <laughs> I suppose that depends on what you want me to throw at you, baby. You keep rubbing up against me, I don't think I'll be able to leave much to your imagination. You get as comfortable as you like. Whatever you want, you got it. I can make sure you're well taken care of. 